What's up guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to The Drop. This is a weekly series every Monday on my channel where I go through what new video games are coming out for the week, especially the significant ones or those that I deem significant. And this week we have a lot of stuff coming out. There's a ton of stuff from Nintendo, one pretty big AAA title that everyone's been looking forward to for a few years. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start picking through what we got coming out this week. First off, we've got Evolve coming on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. And basically what this game is, is it comes from Turtle Rock Studios, and you play as either the Assault class, the Trapper class, the Support class, or the Medic class, and you have to kind of team up and defeat this other player who is playing as a monster. And each of these uh, different kinds of classes has special attributes that give them an advantage in a certain area over the other classes, which makes gameplay pretty intuitive and fun. However, it does feel to me that the game is pretty dependent on co-op, especially whenever it comes to the main goal of the game, which is taking down the monster. If you're playing solo with a whole bunch of randoms online, you're not really going to get the full experience of the game, though it is still completely possible to play the game in the solo mode. Whenever I was playing through the alpha, I felt that I would really be getting a lot more out of it if I had been playing with a team, and I think that that's something that should be considered whenever you're thinking about buying Evolve. You should probably have a team, or uh, be prepared to find a team of people that are really into this game, but regardless, it looks beautiful and the gameplay is pretty good, so I would recommend checking it out before you bought it, but it is coming out this Tuesday. Tuesday for $59.99. Next up, if you have a history of epilepsy or seizures, you've been safe since 2012, but no longer, because Super Stardust Ultra is coming to the PlayStation 4 this Tuesday. And this was announced last week in kind of a surprise PlayStation blog post, which was generally accepted by the community, because Super Stardust is extremely fun to play, and if you aren't familiar with it, it kind of combines Geometry Wars with Reso Gun, that kind of thing. It's an arcade-style game, but it does have beautiful looks and uh, visually stimulating gameplay. It really gets the eyes moving and kind of just melts the brain the way it looks, but it is absolutely fun. I love it when Super Stardust comes around on my game library, but this one is coming to the PlayStation Store this week, and it's actually by two new developers, D3T and XDev, as opposed to the new, the um, old developer, excuse me, House Marque. So we'll have to see how these new developers took the title, but it's coming to the PlayStation Store for $12.99, and there are visual enhancements, there are new worlds you can play, there are nine different modes you can play, so there's pretty much no chance of you getting bored of this game within the next couple of weeks and if that's not enough to sell you on the game PlayStation Plus members get an extra 20% off the first two weeks after release so I will probably definitely be picking this one up this Tuesday. Next up, let's go ahead and get into our Nintendo branch of this week's drop because there's a ton of Nintendo stuff coming out this week. So we'll go ahead and crank it off with Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the 3DS. And this is a remastering of sorts for a game that came out in 2000, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And basically you play as Link in the Land of Termino, which is parallel to the Land of Hyrule where most of the Zelda games normally take place, which is why it looks strange as compared to all the other Legend of Zelda games for the most part. And uh, you play as Link, who is trying to defeat Skull Kid, who has taken control of Majora's Mask and has told the moon to destroy the land in which you live, which is obviously not a good thing, and you play as Link trying to stop it. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, you can check out this remaster coming out this Friday, as all Nintendo games do, for 40 bucks. But if you are a lover of the original game, or you're just looking to try something new on a 3DS, I, this is a pretty good one to pick up as far as classic AAA Nintendo titles go. Next up, we've got Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate also coming out on the 3DS, and this looks to be a pretty interesting release, but as you can guess by the title, you pretty much just hunt monsters in it of varying strengths and sizes and you know, weaknesses and abilities and stuff, so the gameplay does stay generally fresh just based off of the range of the kinds of enemies that you have, and if you're getting that new 3DS this week, it also takes advantage of that second analog stick that Nintendo added with its newest uh, model of its handheld console, so if you're picking one of those up, I would probably recommend picking up this game if you want to try out the new hardware edition but other than that this game looks pretty good the gameplay looks solid and the graphics are holding their own so we'll have to see how this one does whenever it comes out this Friday alongside Majora's Mask for 40 bucks you say you have no 3ds 
but I can change that because there's a new one coming out this Friday in America, at least because it's been out in most parts of the world for a long period of time now. However, America is finally seeing the release of the new Nintendo 3DS XL model, and it's hitting all store shelves this Friday. Personally, you'll be seeing an unboxing here on my channel, so come back for that if you want to see what's in the box, or you can probably just search it and find it elsewhere on YouTube. But if you want to see me unbox it, come back this Friday because I will be doing that. But this one includes a different analog stick, or not a different analog stick, an additional analog stick, some different parts of the hardware have been moved around, enhanced processors, uh, stronger processors, uh, better 3D stuff. If you want to know more about this console, you can check out my video that I made on it right here. But it does look to be a pretty good addition to the Nintendo hardware library, and I personally can't wait to get my hands on it. So if those two games that I mentioned previously sound interesting to you, you might want to consider picking up this new hardware, which is only $199 for the base model, and that's a pretty good price when it comes to a new game console. So there you guys have it. There was a lot to break down this week in the drop, but if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and don't forget to share it with all of your friends on social networks, all of that good stuff so that you can get my name out there and let your friends know what cool stuff is coming out this week. And as always, leave a comment saying what you're going to be picking up this week or if I missed anything significant, please tell us about it down in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel or you've never seen any of my videos before, go check them out on my channel. I upload new stuff on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday all of which I would say are pretty high quality content and again please share all these videos because I'm trying to get my channel to grow and I can't do that without your help but as always I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon peace